So I can grow singing out oh. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Uh, welcome. And have you guys been working like a dog this week? Uh, it's been a crazy and busy, very productive week, but today we're going to be talking about the hound's tooth quilt block. So yeah, working like a dog and that's, I continue to push on. So um, yeah, how you been? Can you believe we've got all kinds of uh, beauty, uh, whether uh, it's cold, it's rainy, and then all of a sudden the next day it's like really out and sunny, full bloom here in Seattle. So I'm just, I'm going to take it when I can get it. Um, but it has been a very productive week and I can't wait to show uh, the quilt that I have been assembling mad since we last spoke. But uh, yeah, I'm really going to show you something new today with this, um, with this houndstooth. I have never done it and I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to try it. We're going to try mistakes. We're going to make it happen. So let's get to it. Let's uh, first, let's get into Rob's roll call. I am so happy that it is Saturday and you have the time to join us. So let's say hello to Fizz, Susan, Carrie over at the Creative Obsession. We have Valerie, Janice. Uh, we have Mr. Paul Church. We have Rob, Mr. Rob Delina of Mr. Rob's Roll Call. And did I already say Valerie? We'll say Valerie again, just because she's so pretty. And we've got Angel and Melissa. Go, so nice to see you, Melissa. You're waking up very early, just like, uh, just like Yoan does over at Go Ahead and Make Me. Uh, and of course, we've got Woolpatch, the, I'm sorry, the Woolpatch, Mr. Uh, Stewart. And let's talk about Mr. Mr. Woolpatch. He's doing something special with me. Um, just as a reminder, we are doing the um, the Compass Adventures uh, Quilt Along. It's going to start on March 26th, and I would love for you guys to join us. It is going to be using the Robin Long, um, that's the pattern uh, designer and the template designer, but it's the Robin Ruth Ruler system. And we are going to make these amazing, beautiful compass quilts. And everybody's going to be choosing their own adventure. And if you go over to Robin Long, uh, go over to her website, which is RobinRuthDesigns.com, you can get 10% off of your 
uh, of your whole purchase through the end of March. This is March and our quilt along is starting on March 26th. So we've got a couple of weeks for your shipment to get to you. You can choose your patterns and talking about, I didn't bring them out today, I should have, but um, you can choose whether you're gonna do a really fat compass and that's gonna be a 16 point compass in whatever size that you wanna do, or you can do a skinny compass also 16 point and or if you really got the mojo and you don't want to do 16 is enough you're going to do a 32 point compass yeah you can do that so there's different templates and before you choose your template um, and get your 10 percent off i would definitely check out her patterns because they're going to dictate which template system that you do need now we are going to be hosting this over on Facebook and we're going to have training sessions. We're having a kickoff party and, and we're going to have weekly, um, just casual every Saturday we're going to, um, get together. So that's going to be beautiful. I just thought about that. I'm going to have my quilt stream and I'm going to have some sew-ins. Uh, we're going to have to figure that one out, <laughs> but I really do hope that you will join us. If you're just now, um, hearing about it. Yeah. Jump over to RobinRuthDesigns.com. We're co-hosting Stuart and I are co-hosting this with the curly seams, Emma and Tracy. They're both very, very experienced and talented uh, quilters. And we're gonna invite everybody. If this is your first quilt, let's go ahead and do it. If this is like your 300th quilt, I'd say go ahead and do it because um, there's gonna be a lot of support. And that's the whole thing with this quilt along is that we're all working on the same technique and everybody, if there's something that you're not getting, somebody else might be able to help and pitch in. And it's a great way to meet new friends. So if the quilt stream community is not an offer and you wanna take it up to the next notch, please join us with the Compass Adventurers Quilt Along starting on March 26th. Uh, I'll put the uh, the links for the sign up. You gotta sign up on Facebook, but I'll put them in the show notes and I better make myself, somebody remind me because you know how it is. You, you forget to do these things and then people are pissed off because you don't live up to your expectations. So I'm gonna open up even a brand new sticky note. I live and die by sticky notes, by the way. All right, love pink, you gotta do it pink. Um, yeah, so quilt along, add to show notes. Let's do it. All right, and um, let's before we get any further, let's give you the intro that we'll have a proper show today. Let's get it. Welcome to the Quilt Stream. My name is Chip Connor. I am your host, and I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, today is Saturday, March 5th. Happy Saturday. So glad that you can join us. Um, since we last spoke, remember last week I was working on the Hattie's Choice Quilt Block, and I was, I was like, it's been a long time since I've done that block, and if you remember the pattern looks a little like this. This is the sucker I was working on all week. I'm telling you, gang, I was really hard at work and I chose, this is the, um, it's a pattern. It's a free pattern that you can download on AccuQuilt.com. This is the die for this quilt pattern and I absolutely love it. It is a, a really great skill builder because you're matching a lot of points and you're working with biased edges. So throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole quilt, you're, you're just trying to get some restraint and you're not, you know, pooling fabric and you're making sure that things are lining up and there's no such thing as ever perfect, but you know what gang, that's what borders are for. And in my quilting journey, I am really getting into the next level. Once you get the construction of the, uh, of the quilt, it's never going to be perfect. So the next thing that you've got to do is work on those borders. And so now I'm going to be making sure that I have the perfect, perfect border. Um, I've got my borders already cut out and 
well, what do they go with? Well, let me show you what I've been doing. <laughs> All right, so here is, here it is. This is my lovely, I'm so proud of this. Um, this is the AccuQuilt uh, Hattie's Choice uh, Go Wildflower Throw Quilt. And instead of doing just one color, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have all of my, um, all of my diamonds using up some of this damask um, fabric. And I'm telling you, it is fabulous because, can I blow it up? Let's see if I can blow it up. Um, there we go. Can I get closer? If you look real close, do I have another picture? This is the assembly. So um, I'll get, to, I'll show you uh, a close up. maybe right here. Can we do this? Can we do this? Right there, there we go. Look at that gang, I can do magic. So I took the damask fabric and I fussy cut all of my um, little flowers out and made sure that all of my diamonds were featuring that fabric and I just love, love, love it. As I told you last time, this is not, um, actually it looks like it would be a quilt that is assembled on point, but it's actually not. It's all uh, assembled. When you really get to this stage, it's all in vertical strips, which is a lot of fun. And so we go from, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strips that you're going to wind up with. And then you start putting them into bigger chunks and you're starting, I'm telling you, man, like, this is why it's a skill builder because all of these, like you have these flying geese that are, that are, um, let's see if I can zoom up to here. You've got some flying geese that are, um, that are trying to match on Stuart's ice cream cones and boy, oh boy, you know, like that just is not something that you can just, uh, uh, watch TV and sew straight lines. You have got to make sure that your piecing is together because you really do want uh, in my humble opinion, you really do want this whole um, this whole thing to really speak for itself. You don't want it to like, oh, my eye is going to um, to this mismatched uh, seams. And really, that's the name of the game, isn't it? Really, we're just trying to give an overall. Hey, if it looks easy when we're, when it's all put together, and this is this, I really do believe this. If it looks easy then I've done a good job because it may not be easy, but if I make it look easy, then maybe people are like, oh, I could do that. And that's really, you know, that's a, I think it's a compliment when um, it looks straightforward. And I was, um, I was at our, oh, I was at our Zoom uh, so, uh, quilting sew-in, just like a, a get together that we're gonna do every two weeks. That was last night in case you missed it. Um, but yeah, we, I was talking to Carrie and over at the Creative Obsession, she was there and she made fun of me. Every quilt that I ever pick out, I'm like, oh, it'll be a breeze. And she's like, nope, <laughs> this is what's gonna go wrong. This is what's gonna go wrong. And this is what's going to wrong. And I can't help it. You know, I always think I have expectations, like I can do it. And then it's like, I actually have to climb those stairs. <laughs> so at any rate, um, speaking of that Zoom uh, uh, get together, it's every two weeks and it's generally lasting anywhere from two to three hours. And and it starts uh, on the East Coast, it's generally gonna be eight o'clock at night uh, or five o'clock um, Pacific. And you just come and go. If you're, if you're right on time, that's great. If, it, if you're late, but then you gotta leave your, like, you know those coworkers. Oh, sorry I'm late, but it's okay because I gotta leave early. <laughs> we have those and that's, that's quite all right. Um, but it's a nice chance to talk about new patterns. And I will say I got some looks, uh, a looky lose into, um, who is it? Angel over at the Scrappy Angel, she was showing us our, uh, her shop and some fabrics. So she and I are going to get together tomorrow and I'm going to get some fabrics in, but wait, that's going to be in, in a couple of weeks. I'm going to show you some fabric that I bought. So we get the intel here at the quilt stream. We get the news before it comes to you and then I'm happy to share whatever I learn. So yeah, and when you see those, I only announce it on Instagram. I only do one post. I'm not gonna hit you over the head. If you wanna be friends, let's be friends. And it's nice because we've got some new people that have joined us and it's like, I don't know about you guys, but when, 
they do these these things and invites and they're like it's a cattle call come on it's an open invitation to to join us and then you're like oh i don't really know anybody and i'm gonna feel weird and strange believe me we're not gonna make you feel strange last night we were talking we have good icebreakers and you know we just talk about quilting and we talk about um get to know you conversations it's a lot of fun so I'm not going to hammer to death, but I open the invitation in two weeks. Uh, join our Zoom call because it is like, let's build our squad from all around the world. Love it. So uh, we've covered uh, what I've been making, what I've been up to. And then we've covered the Zoom call. We've covered the quilt along. And uh, I saw that Fizz, she put a note in there reminding you that on the quilt along for Robin Ruth Designs, it's M... Um, what is it? I just went blank. It is M, uh, here it is, MCQA10, so that's um, uh, MCQA Mariner's Compass Quilt Along 10. So that's your discount code. Get 10% off anything in the shop till the end of March and use it up. Add to cart. So today I was, um, I was thinking, uh, I was thinking, what are you thinking? Um, I was thinking like, what is, what if I, I have a last minute gift and I really want something that, um, it uses something that's geometric. It makes a bold statement and, but it's easy, easy, easy <laughs> said me. So we'll see how easy it is. Um, but it doesn't use a lot of uh, fabric. And I came across um, several uh, variations of the, um, the hound's tooth pattern. And so that inspires the, the backdrop today. And I'm not gonna do a, um, a colorful one like this because that's just more math, that's just more complication. What I wanna share with you is just the, the, the um, the basics how does this thing get put together and once you know the secret sauce it is pretty doable and i think it is going to be something that you should try so let's look at let's look at the down cam and you know like what supplies are we going to need um we are going to need some strips because this is going to be some strip piecing so i have got um some black and some white and i just i have never done a black and white quilt before and i thought hey this might be a, um, a fun chance to do it you know me i'm always doing the the red and white samples and i was like this time i'm going black and white i'm going very very um very contrasty and i thought this might be fun so we've got some two two uh, strip colors so these are actually going to be cut width of length um with the width of the fabric so you're going to take your fabric bolt and you're going to do the entire width of fabric you're going to do cut these not at two and a quarter this is the uh, i'm sorry two and a half like you normally do you want to cut these at two and a quarter inch lengths i can't i can't uh, say that um enough that 2.25 2.25 is what we're working with and then if um if you guys have any of these five inch uh charm packs uh laying around that you've scooped up and you're like oh i really love all of this fabric um yeah now's the time to do it you're gonna need 42 of both two colors and generally it's going to be the same as your strip colors i i just realized today when I was going through and I was actually doing my cutting because I don't have any uh, charm packs, believe it or not, gang, I have never bought any charm packs. I haven't done any of the two and a half inch, five inch, 10 inch, none of them. I've never done them. I've always done like jelly rolls and fat quarters and then um, and so forth and yardage. But yeah, I was like, oh darn, it would be really lovely if I had some charm packs, but nope, I had to cut it. So you're gonna want those to be five inch, um, five inch charm packs. And generally they're gonna come uh, 42 um, squares in a, I'm padding this and there's all this fine lint. <laughs> All this fine lint is just in the air and it's like, it's so gross. I want my mask back. Um, but generally there's 42, um, stop patting it. 
<laughs> I am so sorry. So generally there's like 42. I uh, am I. <laughs> Have I had enough go-go juice? Where is my go-go juice? Sorry, gang. So you're going to have, I'm going to just point at it. You're going to have 42 in your charm pack. So you need two of those. And these are the five inchers, but we don't need those quite yet. What we're going to do, for, we're going to start out with the, the strips and you need 16. Um, you're going to need 16 of each. So these are two and a half, I'm sorry, two and a quarter uh wide and then by the width of the fabric so let's take one of each and let's get to doing some sewing we're actually going to create some strip pieces and so i have this long lovely um been asking and commenting about this little uh, mat that I have on here and what's really lovely is that there it's it's just a piece of like vinyl um, and I got it over at chip is on and it actually has marks on the um, on the mat itself and I'm gonna mess with this camera just so that you can see it I mean like I've used this so much that you can see that it, it is getting worn out because I'm constantly uh, pushing there, but it's something that it's cheap enough that I can replace it. And it is, what is that? It's roughly, this is almost 12 inches wide. Um, and then about nine inches, uh, in length. So 12 inches wide, 10 inches. And then what's nice is that it does have little registration marks. And then I can see at, I just line it up and it really sticks to my uh, table surface really nicely but I've got that line. And if you don't have one of these, then you may want to put like uh, some painter's tape or something to give you that line. And cause I really don't focus on here. I usually, I'm focused here and here and I keep my eye bouncing back and forth. And how do you guys do it? But yeah, um, I'm going to add that to show notes. Cause I think that's a really good, um, a good add to cart um, idea. So I'm going to,
take you to the needle and let's get to some piecing, strip piecing. Here we go. Okay, my machine is just humming along. And this is a long piece. This is with a fabric. So you're you're gonna make a lot of these. As I said, you need a 16 cut of both both colors that you're gonna do. Okay, so that's one. And then we actually need to make two of these. So there's, there's one. We're gonna make two, because actually, we're gonna turn these into a tube. Come on, come on. And if you have kids, I think this would be a really good, um, a good project it's for if you have kids that are just starting to sew I would invite them to to try out this this pattern because it's I mean like the first thing the first thing that we that we learn is hey let's honor that uh, quarter inch seam and sewing in a straight line and breathing and relaxing and so you can see, I mean, like this is nothing but sewing a straight line. And so this is why I think it's a really great beginner project. And we're almost there. So we're at the tail end of this. And then, as we do, we use our automatic thread cutter, which I love. And I'm gonna give a shout out to Susan. Susan, who just got her, um, she just upgraded and got herself a new sewing machine with a thread cutter. And she, I'm so pleased for you, Susan. Where's my guillotine? Okay, so we've got two strips cut, and once we get this part um, to this stage, we're gonna want to, where's my leader? I'm gonna put my leader back. Oop. All right, so this, we do want to press to the dark side. We don't want any of the black possibly popping out. And I'm going to do it this way. So I'm quickly setting my seam and then just flipping it. And then one thing that um, I think makes me anxious when I'm actually um, pressing, you want to avoid, again, stretching out, especially because, the, I mean, like when the fabric's hot, it wants to grow. And so what I um, want to stress is that you don't want to make this wavy by overworking the fabric. All you're doing is setting your, uh, your fabric over and pressing. That's all you're doing. So I kind of nudge it with the side of the iron and then just bump it over. And we have our, our sash and here we go. 
I'm going to sashay. <laughs> so there's one. And then let's work on the second one. And then this is actually, I think, what is going to take you a little bit longer. Because um, you got, um, what is that, eight pieces that you're actually going to, you're, uh, you're making. And once you get that finished, then we're going to create a tube out of this, um, out of this, these strip sides. So that's why I made two, because we're, we're going to do one more, um, one more trick. Love it. If you love uh, strip piecing, this is for you. Okay, so now, now that we've got our, um, now that we've got our, sashes made now what we want to do we've got the white and the black now we're going to have right sides together and we're going to put the black over the white and the white over the black so it's going to look something like this and then we're going to sew uh bear with me we're going to sew the length on this side and this side we're actually creating a tube and we want to we want to make sure that we're still keeping with that quarter quarter of an inch. Oh, and it's still the same week. So again, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say happy birthday again to Rob. It was his birthday this past week. It was so nice. He says, um, he is like royalty that, uh, remains forever 35. So <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> I want to be 32 or 33 again. I think that would be great. I don't need to be 18. I didn't, I, I wasn't ready for, for much at 18. Okay, so we've done the first half and after this, we'll get to some cutting. Okay. Are we there? I was literally putting this project together this morning, so unfortunately, I didn't have my uh, my my magic of TV. 
piece is done. But that's okay. All right, so now um, I'm gonna give this a quick press just to set those seams. We, and then we'll get to, actually I'd love to get back to the room just see what I'm missing. Just setting those seams quickly and looks good to me. So we've got our first sachet. And let's see what we've got. Okay. <laughs> So Stuart is saying, yeah, come, uh, come and join in to the adventure about the, about the quilt along. So come on, you can, you can join us. That would be awesome. And again, uh, Fizz's code, thank you again. The code for the discount is MCQA, Mariner's Compass, Quilt Along, 10. So yeah. And ba ba ba. All right, so now we're getting... Um, into let's go i'm getting a lot of props for the the project i love that oh my gosh there's no sound hello 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 Wait, did, do we have sound? <laughs> I apologize. Okay. Uh, that is so weird. Bizarre. Okay, so I'm not going to switch the camera. I think something's weird with the camera. I won't do that. Um, all right, so I apologize. Thank you. Uh, yes, I need a production assistant. I didn't know. And so I'm just here. This is this and that is that. And I apologize. <laughs> Where is Aaron? Aaron's taking a nap. Um, all right. And we've got Mr. Brendan Berg. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Um, all right, so I think I'm next. So I'm gonna quickly, I apologize. This is what happens when you get real, uh, uh, real live feed. Um, can you, can you hear me now? We do now. So I'm not gonna change the camera views. I don't know what happened, so I apologize. So yeah, well, that's a shit show. <laughs> All right, so what, um, I'm just gonna quickly recap. We have our sash, and again, you're uh, sewing on two and a quarter, uh, I'm sorry, a quarter inch seam, and then now is where the magic happens. We can go to, um, and, I'm afraid to switch cameras, so I'm just going to leave it on this one if it's working. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to use any any ruler generally has um, a 45 degree angle on here. And this is where the magic is going to happen. What you want to do is and I'm going to try. I'm just going to go for my luck. Um, do you have do you have sound? There we go. Um, yeah, so. What we want to do is line up your line up your ruler right here. So you want to put your ruler on the seam, not the edge of the fabric. This is the this is the big magic trick. So you want to give yourself some a little bit of uh, breathing room on this side to get you going. Now you're gonna do 45 inch um, angles cuts. So boom, there's one. And then we're gonna flip. My, now my ruler don't wanna work. There we go. Now we're gonna bump this up and then we're gonna do the same thing. On this side, we want to ensure that we're gonna use that same 
45, and I'm going to actually stand up so I can see it. Um, but you've got your 45 on the seam again. And then uh, you start, where is it? Oops, sorry. You've got your line right there. And then you've got your next one. Right there. Nope. So now you're creating all of these little wedge pieces. And you should get, um, from what I have gleaned, you should get about 10, um, 10 of these. For each strip. All right, oh, I cut that one a little weird. All right, this should be enough to get us going. So what you're going to do is now we're going to lay out, we're going to start out with your uh, charm pieces, five, your five inch charm squares. And let's go to wide. And I'm going to start out with the darker color and I need plenty of breathing room. But what you do is you lay one of these and then we're going to actually open this up. And what, when you open these up, you're going to end up with, um, so I just did this and you're going to have one side that has the dark and one side that has the light. And we're going to just press towards the dark real quick and then I'll put it back. But the beauty is, is that these end up being those five inch. So now we're going to start with, actually, I'm going to start it this way. Um, I think that was right. And then we're going to just have the first row just doing the same exact pattern. We're going to start with black. And then you notice when I open these up, there is a slight little stitch there. We're just to open it up. It just comes out real easy. And all of those are going to be the same. But I'm going to jump. Instead of doing a whole row of these, um, I'm going to jump to the white. Right here. And so they start to alternate. And so what you should uh, what you should wind up with is a little bow tie right here and you start seeing that there's that pattern that emerges. Now we're going to do um, the same thing. This whole row is going to would be the uh, so where this was all black this row is going to be all white. So now I come back and I do another guy and We'll add that. I'm pressing as I'm going. All right, so this one is going to be this way. And then I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to do a couple more. But you see that your, your pattern starts emerging. And that's really the, the fun part of this. So this 
next one and can I scoot everything up just so that you can see what is going on you have this now we're gonna go back to black and we're going to put oop, I need to press that one real quick okay so this one I believe is is it that nope is yeah I think so so you have this or this I think it's that and then let's see if we have another pad pattern emerge I don't have an actual, um, I don't actually have a pattern that I'm working with. So as I'm figuring this out in real time, um, yeah, you're going to see it too. Ah, there we go. I think I fixed it. I needed to know what, what order to put it in. So let me arrange these so that it doesn't look too confusing. So I need another black piece. Yeah. And then I'll show you what we've got. Ha ha. And I need a white. And then the black. Does that look right? Am I getting it? Ah, and you got the white. And you got the white. All right, let's see down to see if we're actually emerging. But you can actually see that it, it's starting. Uh, it's starting to happen. So with just getting with those strips, you're actually getting that houndstooth pattern that you see in the back. And let me look at the at the pattern. So he, yeah, you should have. Um, I'm looking at. You have the, the, the dark V, and then did I do mine upside down? Yeah, it's looking right. And it should have some tails. So what is, what is the weird thing? What if we start here? And I'm going to play with the arrangement a little bit. And then you do that. Ah, I see what I did. And actually, what's real fun is that you can um, you can get different patterns out of it. Now I've got it. Ha, 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 ha. This is the fun part. And once you get once you get the orientation um, down, then it's just a matter of doing the strips. I was doing it a little wonky, and it's now. I think it's now the way it's supposed to be. So let's give you another shot down. And there it is. See how you've got kind of that M look? I was just, I had the wrong orientation. And, but this one is, should be like this. So yeah, order matters. And then you've got your white. And so the whole strip for each one, there we go. You can, you can really see that it, that's the, the, the proper orientation. That's it. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's, it's the scariest thing when you're working without a pattern and you're just like, how did they do that? And just putting it together and a little bit of a uh, little bit of rearranging and it will come together. So, yeah, let's see what kind of what kind of bad marks I'm getting in the room today. Um, yeah, this makes it real. <laughs> Not that you guys have ever messed up a quilt pattern in your life. Um, there we go. And yeah, so as well as Stuart is saying, yeah, uh, you need the white bow tie and the black uh, bow tie. It looks like an arrow pointing down left. Yeah, so um, yeah, I did my orientation a little differently 
than what is behind me. But yeah, you could do it in any way. And I actually think what's fun about um, about this pattern is, and I was thinking about like, because this is gonna generally finish out at 50 by, I think 50 by 62 inches. And you're gonna have uh, seven, you're gonna have 12 across. So when you're looking at each of these blocks, you're gonna have, 12, one, two, three, four. So you're gonna have 12 across and I believe you're gonna have seven blocks going down. But as long as you keep with that, um, you're gonna get exactly what I'm showing you here. Otherwise, if you wanted to, you uh, and I think I might do this on mine, is I might actually break it up at some point and just do um, some sashing, just to make it just a little bit bigger and to break up the interest. But you could play with that orientation so that like behind me, it's going from left to right um, uh, in that direction. You could have some going this way, some going this way. Color and, and orientation really could go a long way with this pattern. So yeah, try it out. I mean, again, two and a quarter, um, two and a quarter cut uh, on your strips and then you're gonna do five inch on your uh, your charm packs which you cannot see that um, you're gonna do five inch uh, charm packs and again they come in 42 per pack so you're gonna use every single one of them and it'll give you that 50 by 60 and it really is a statement piece that I think would be a lot of fun for people like you just give it to a graduation gift I know that's gonna be a couple of, coming up in a couple of months I actually would love to see this in the black and white and with a pop of like shocking pink or shocking green. I might play with that uh, with my sashing, but let's do it. Let's go one more time into the room and <laughs> that's gonna be it. Uh, so Valerie, you're so sweet. Even with my S show as Rob just called it. Um, yeah, uh, she looks forward to, to Saturdays now, so. Thank you, thank you for your patience. And I am so excited, Lisa McDowell, uh, Donald, I am so happy that you're here and I have not forgotten you. Uh, she was the winner of one of my giveaway quilts and it arrived all the way to Ireland and then all of a sudden it got denied by the post office somewhere in Ireland. So that, that quilt is more well-traveled than I am and I promise, I promise, I promise, Lisa, it will get back to you. And why don't we actually, uh, we need to sync up this week and let's get it back because it's just been laying here and I feel awful about that. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing that um, Stuart, uh, he, I was just noticing, he said, so clever doing it as a strip uh, tube set rather than snowballing half square triangles. Yeah, I mean like what, um, what the nice thing about this project is that by just doing it in those tubes, you're getting all of those um, those those length of fabric working in your favor. Instead of trying to do all of these little, little uh, repetitious steps, you're just getting it knocking out a lot of that sewing in one go and then just doing all of your cutting um, and that's and then just putting it together because it really does, it really does come out to be pretty, phenomenal and I'm excited because you know I've never done this project and if I can do this and make it look what somewhat accessible while um, making mistakes and you know like warts and all I know that people can do it in their own space and time when they don't have <laughs> people watching them. So it is a, uh, a fun thing. So we got one more comment. We're gonna say, hello, Cynthia. Nice to see you. She says, great video as always. And yeah, thank you for your patience with the sound issue. I'll figure that out so it doesn't happen next week. All right, so that is gonna be, uh, that's gonna be it. That's gonna bring us to time. And I am so glad that you guys are with me and I hope you guys are getting to know each other in the comments uh, and also in the chat. And I, it's, that's what it's all about, just being a community. So until next weekend, I hope that you have a fabulous weekend and we're gonna pray for peace and in all sincerity, the world is really um, uh, is really rough, and let's pray for peace and uh, let's hang on to the friends that we've got and pray for the people that we don't. So I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. 
Have a great day.